Hey guys, what's up? Chemistry here. In this tutorial, I'll be going through the trans sweeps um, a little more in depth this time. Um, we're going to add some LFO effects on the cutoff knob, and that should make it wobble, kind of. Um, same effects can apply to wub bases. So, yeah, we're going to use 3x OSC, 3 times oscillators, and we're going to pick uh, these waveforms at the very end uh, before the question marks here and then we're going to go into the piano roll and we're going to add a really long note like this it's going to you know stretch out for as many measures as you want the effect to last if you want the, the effect to last a much longer amount of time you could double it and last eight measures or double that and 16 measures but whatever you decide doesn't matter to me. Um, it doesn't matter what note you pick. You can also add a sign or something to that. Um, but yeah, that's your guys' preference. Uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you the sweep or noise effect. So first, what you want to do is click on the INS here, um, which is the instrument properties, I believe and then you want to click on the cut tab and down here is the LFO so what we're going to do is we're basically going to um, automate the cutoff to kind of give this kind of waveform wobble and it's going to happen as fast and as wobbly as we want it to be uh, first thing is we're going to light up this tempo base time so all that does is just sync in with our tempo and not just uh, wobble freely on its own the tempo for this track is 130 uh, we're going to move the AMT knob up to just about here like this kind of range uh, there's no actual statistic but just around here and the AM AMT just kind of kind of determines how deep it just kind of ducks and comes back up. Um, if it was all the way up here, it would just be like very, very, very low ducks, you know? But we don't really want that. If you're making a wobble base, then you probably would want it around, you know, these last um, areas. But we're just going to keep it around here. And then we're going to automate the speed knob, which, as you can see, is changing the the waveform here. And it's what we're going to do is basically just make it so the speed increases as the effect goes on. So, and this would be more of a sweep up, but it works good for down sweeps as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to automate that. So re uh, right click on that knob and then hit create automation clip. So yeah, you get something like this, and uh, you can just stretch that out for whatever length of your pattern is. Mine is four measures long, it looks like this. So this is the speed envelope, and what we want to do is just probably move this to around the higher end, because the higher it is here, um, the, the more to the right, I guess, the speed knob would be. So, uh, if I play this, there, sorry about that, the noise, but um, see how high or to the right it is? Um, that means the waveform is really, really slow, and as it drops like this, um, the speed increases. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly that, but just through the translation of our envelope here. Sorry about that, guys, I just got interrupted. Um, but yeah, where was I? So we're just going to move the speed down or increase the speed as time goes by with our pattern and this is kind of how we're going to do it. I'm going to move that all the way down to 0% on the right which speeds it up and I'm just going to make another dot here around 15%. How about, anyway, 17. So 17% here and it's 80% up here and it's just going to kind of drop um, around this area, it'll be very, very fast wobbling. It'll almost sound like rough noise, even though that's already what it sounds like. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get you guys to listen to that.
but yeah, you can automate how that actually works. Um, just mess around with these uh, these envelopes here. You could also kind of switch that around, start it up with a lot of speed, and then slow it down as time goes by. That works too, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> so yeah, um, next you would uh, link this to the mixer. Um, so yeah, the 3x OST is linked. We're going to add a fruity free filter to that. And so yeah, we're going to have a low pass filter and a high pass. Um, you don't have to do it this way. I just, I don't know, this is how I learned it. But yeah, it's a lot like in the trans build and sweeps tutorial that I had in my FL Studio tutorial series things, thing, thing I did. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing just quick kind of little bit of EQ. I guess I wouldn't really have to, but I'm just going to. Um, yes, I believe that's it. You could also add panomatic for the panning. But I think I'm just going to go without and just use the original just basic panning knob here. Alright, so we got low pass, going to turn that down and then create an automation clip on the frequency knob. And on the high pass filter, we're going to change the type up to high pass so that it's following the label. And then move that down. And then frequency, create an automation clip. If you think I went through that pretty quickly, um, I understand it is because I actually made a tutorial where actually two tutorials even that I explained all of that very slowly so I'm just trying to do this quickly uh, for the sake of this series um, yeah low pass um, there's a few ways how we could do this but I'm gonna try to make it kind of high pass its way down and then the, um, the high pass and low pass are gonna work together as a team for this one so high pass, it's going to start up nice and high, and then it's going to slowly go down to 0% so that we can hear it really well at the end. Um, low pass at 100% for the same reason, and then start off like that. So it, it might look a little bit like this. Remember, this is low pass and this is high pass. So let's listen to what it sounds like now. Um, I think that sounds pretty cool, but one other thing we could do is add the panning. Panning is also very important for this sort of stuff. It's actually just the, uh, for you guys that don't know, it's just, um, if you're panning to the right, then the sound is only coming out of your right speaker, your right headphone. Same thing for the left. So I believe right is at 100% and left is at 0%. So we're not going to exaggerate it. We're just going to do something like this. Um, another thing you could do is right click on this dot here and then you'll get this option. And you could, change, you could choose wave and then hit the middle thing and then you might have different options here as you scroll by them. But I don't, this doesn't always work uh, as well as you want it to, but it's, it's a good kind of automatic way of getting these kind of waves here um, for panning and just other stuff, but I'm going to keep it to a single curve and then it's going to start from the right ear and then kind of go down to the left ear I'm also going to add stereo shaper so it kind of sounds like it's coming from behind um, I'm going to choose the preset here um, for invert well you could choose either just invert, invert left, or invert right I like to choose the one that comes at last so I think it's going to come out of the left speaker from the very last point at point B. Um, so I'm going to choose invert right. But if I'm wrong, then I'll just choose again. So if you guys are listening to that through your headphones, uh, you probably can hear how it's kind of switching like that. And that's about the time that you kind of be done with this effect um, but yeah so you can invert left and it'll kind of give you the same thing
but it's a good way to add a little bit of tension and it, you can be really unique with this so it kind of, of makes you avoid using um, samples or for the people who kind of want to learn how to make your own effects um, if you don't have money or just don't like using samples in general uh, this is a great way to make your own I do believe you can save um, everything you just did as a template and then you just kind of go from there um, I'm not sure how you would save all the effects but you definitely can save what you've done on 3x OSC but it is very simple um, so yeah I, I, I believe you click here ch save channel state as and then you could probably just type in something like sweep effect something like that and then whenever you want to go back to that sweep effect you just um, you probably just have to load it up which confuses me so that's why I just like to just kind of do it from scratch every time but that's about it guys I uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial sorry for the interruption in the middle it kind of threw me off for the rest of the tutorial I guess but um, I hope you guys still learned something and remember not to copy me I don't mind if you do but um, like I really don't mind if you do but if you do decide to do something like this or take my guidance remember to just kind of change things up a little bit and be be unique cuz that's the whole that's the whole point from why I'm showing you this is so that you don't just copy someone else's work so <laughs> um, but yeah if you're looking for a sound like this definitely use it so I guess I'll see you next time